The 15th of December 1967, the collapse of the Silver Bridge. 46 casualties, two missing and not found since. What caused the catastrophe, according to the witnesses and reports, can be seen on the next slide. First seen in November of 1966, Point Pleasant, West Virginia, near an old explosives factory. Roger and Linda Scorbury, Joan and Mary Mallet and their niece. They said it kept following them, even if they tried shaking it off on Road 62. There were about a hundred reports filed in those two years. But once the bridge collapsed, just nothing happened. Whatever is in the photo, it just disappeared, left the town, never returned. But it did go elsewhere, though. Another unsolved mystery. What could it be? A mythical creature? A mutation? Perhaps some kind of military experiment. Or maybe this is the angel of death trying to warn us before the catastrophe. And what if I told you that it has allegedly resurfaced? In Hungary. There were 22 reports in the past two weeks. I'm actually going there next week and I really need someone who can take an added footage. So if you would like to join me, just sign up after the lecture. Um, thank you for your attention, everyone. See you in four weeks. Same time, same place, different topics. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. And how long have you been learning at the university, Adam? Actually, for two years. Yeah, it's for two years. And what's at the end of the line? Uh, if all goes well, I'll be a forensic investigator. Wow. Was it always your dream? Uh, I think so, yes. Uh, what about you? Mine? Yeah. <laughs> Actress. friends. Oaks. Check this. Oh. Hmm? Anyone else? No luck? No. Can we go? Yeah. I just don't know what kind of person they are looking for. <laughs> really, I just don't get it. Hmm. I've been to eight auditions in this year, then. I don't know. Maybe. You could get into a school, you know. Film school. 
to learn all these things, mm -hmm. mimicry, intonation. I don't know because I'm not involved in it, but I guess you have to learn that too. Yeah, I know all this stuff. Uh, actually, I took a term, but unfortunately I just couldn't finance it. And my father didn't want to pay for it. Huh. You know, he wanted me to be an attorney. An attorney? <laughs> <laughs> Useful and productive member of the society, not just someone who plays the role. And my sister, my elder sister Kathy, mm -hmm. um, thinks that this is just a hobby mm -hmm. and uh, acting barely beats prostitution. You just play a role and sell yourself for money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my family. If you ask me, I think everyone plays a role and everyone sells themselves. Nobody's honest. It's a good thing this car was waiting for us. Yeah, the owner took a term at our university mm -hmm. and I gave her an extra room. Mm. And when she left, she told me to let her know if she can repay it somehow. <laughs> and you called in a favor, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Why are we recording every single moment? Well, I hope to turn this into a great documentary when we get back. Uh -huh. Or not. <laughs> but since we have this, let's just use it, okay? Okay. You think we'll find anything? I don't know. I can tell. Can I ask a personal question, Adam? Depends. Where are you from? I mean, I know it's impolite to ask something like that, but I'm so curious. You don't like my accent or what? No, no, it's not like that. Your English is perfect. It's just you're not English-like. I think you're as British as myself. <laughs> so? Yes. Are you Danish? Not exactly. I'm sorry, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. It's, it's not my business. Sorry. I'm from Sweden. I moved to England five years ago. And I've been living in London for a while. But I'm not planning to go home. No. No. What about you? Hmm? You know, you mentioned that you are a Sash British. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I'm Ukrainian. Really? Ukrainian? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I was raised there. Did you have to uh, did you have to escape or what? Escape from what? You know. Oh you don't. The, what's the reason? Well there is no dramatic line here. I learned English in elementary and grammar school. Mm -hmm. Uh then <clears throat> I graduated from the university as an English history teacher because mm -hmm. I also liked history. Yeah. <laughs> and I won a Fulbright scholarship to the US, Virginia. Mm -hmm. I conducted research there. I lived there for almost, wow, two years. Two years? Yeah, for two years. <laughs> and then a good friend of mine just offered this job in London at the university and I accepted it. So here I am. End of story. Wow. You are very... Uh, very? Persistent might be the best word. Well, thank you. Honestly, I didn't think if anyone would sign up. But I'm very glad that you're here. Thanks. I told you.
told you I like mysteries. That's why I'm here. Actually. Actually? When I was young, my mom used to get me books about myths. Greek, Roman myths, stories, tales, legends, stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. And when I read a book, I didn't just want to find a resolution. Well, all mysteries are waiting to be solved, Adam. <laughs> yeah. You solve it and you take away the whole mystery itself. That hidden, elusive thing. Everyone just wants to find and solve. Like who or what the movement might be. <laughs> That's mine. But if you found out who or what it is, the whole mystery would disappear. You know, a lot of people want to solve it. Yeah. Us included. Twenty-five miles, and we will hit our accommodation. Mm -hmm. I suggest we should uh, get up early in the morning and find anyone who might have seen anything suspicious lately. Okay. I set the charges up for the night just in case. Good idea. Thank you. Okay. What else? I book twin beds. If it's good for you. Fine with me, fine by you. Yeah. You know, other guys would have started getting ideas by now, Adam. Others maybe, but I'm not here to try and bet my teacher. <laughs> oh God! Adam, it was just a joke. It really was just. Are you always this well versed in the language of women? I just don't think we've been traveling long enough to talk about things like that. Probably I'm a bit old-fashioned, but that's how I feel. Sorry. Now, let's talk about whatever you'd like to. What do you want to talk about? Hey, 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 hey. An interview with the reluctant cameraman. The stage is all yours. Come on. Really? Oh, really? Why not? Okay. Okay. I have only one question. Ready? Yes. Why do you want to be an actress so bad? Because you want to be an actress, so why? Tell me about it. So, stage is yours now. Well, I suppose it's like you're in a mysteries. What do you mean, mysteries? If you film or write something, you just, you know, create a whole new world. Mm -hmm. I tried writing as well, more or less successfully, mostly less successfully, unfortunately. <laughs> but anyway, if you just conjure up a whole new world, you can create whatever you'd like to, sad or beautiful things. It's like, for example, mysteries. Hmm. I don't think you should give up your writing. I will never give up. I never give up on anything. It's a good attitude, I, I like that. <sighs> Anything else? No, one. No nail click is more than enough. <laughs> Besides, I don't let others pay for it. You let me. Is the right place. Oh, yeah? Based on the picture and what I can see right now. Wow. Looks a bit creepy. Yeah. Huh? Whatever you just got stays on the cutting room floor. Okay. Hey, money. Oh, hey. hey. Hey, so you got there already? Yeah, we arrived. We are in the motor room. Oh, yeah, that guy. Adam. His name is Adam. So where is Adam? He's having a shower now. 
Oh, is he? Silly you. Don't be ridiculous. See? Set for bets. There's no problems, okay. I know exactly why I'm here, so you had better- I just don't think this is a good idea. Not like this, not so soon. Everything is going to be all right. If I make up I my know. mind. Look, have you got enough money? Sure. No problem. Okay, let's talk again tomorrow. This Adam doesn't appeal to me. He's all right. There won't be any problem with him. Okay. It's, it's, it's 2 a.m. Someone's knocking on my door. I heard some noises from the garden. Actually, I'm not amazed by the spice. Sleep. I should do, I guess. Okay, let's check this. Let's check this. Yes. Heard something from, from the garden, I think. Oh. The hell? Is anyone there? Who's there? Just who's there? You idiot! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Shit! Thank you. 
Maybe it was an animal or a homeless by the window. And he just happened to try and sneak a peek in the middle of the night, right? No idea. Did you see the footage? Um, Did you see the yeah, footage? Yeah, yeah, I told you I saw it, okay? I, I don't know what that was or what you might have heard. I saw it and I heard it. Probably it was another guest with a bad sense of humor, but it was 2 a.m., can you believe that? Were you scared? No, I wasn't. You, you weren't. I don't know how you would have reacted. Even the lights were off on our floor. Whatever. I slept pretty well. I'm happy for you. How far are we from our destination? Well, if the map uh, is right, then this road and the ride by the signpost. Ride by the signpost. Great. Come on, Adam. Don't get all pissed off about it. It happens. Maybe just there were someone just messing around with our door, or maybe there were some kids who just couldn't sleep. Maybe. Whatever. First, I met her when I was 18 years old. She ill, you know, when I was born. And then she just reappeared from nowhere after my graduation. She brought me some flowers and a box of chocolates. Get this? I've never even seen her in my whole childhood, and she just brings me some fucking chocolates. I hated chocolate ever since. Do you even know a woman who doesn't like chocolate? I don't think so. My mother hated it. What do you mean? Yeah. She passed away. It's the same. Say, yeah. You think something. What? Just what? I could hear you. Are you okay? Okay, okay. What? Be careful, be careful. Trying to say something. What? Our 
Are we lost? No, we are not lost. Hmm. <clears throat> I think we are lost. We're not lost, okay? This road is not familiar, and that's it. We can do those. We can get those interviews tomorrow. Mm -hmm. No need to hurry. Everything is going to be all right, okay? Okay. Seems to be the right way. Yeah. It seems. We'll head through this road and there will be four small towns in this way. <sighs> it's goddamn amazing. Very amazing. Stop it, okay? Everything is perfect. Mm -hmm. Then let's get going before it gets dark, okay? About a motel. We'll have all those things we are here for, and then we'll go home. Good. Whoa. What's that? Just cars, cars, cars. Cars. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Thank God. Oh. Show me how happy you are. It's <laughs> nice. What's it? What's it? Oh, oh, oh. Nobody? No. Just stop somewhere. Everything's covered in this. Oh, shit. Let's just call the police. Try your phone at them. Try my phone, and what am I supposed to do with it? I don't know Hungarian. Someone? Is anyone around there? There's nobody here. This place is abandoned. I heard something. I heard some kind of clicking noise. Fuck. Are you nervous? If you want, then I'll say it. I don't think that was so dust. Now what was that? Ever washed the moth before it could dine on your favorite evening gown? I don't give a fuck if you do or do not. I don't care at all. Abandoned cars by the road, half a pair of kid shoes. In the red car, I could see the driver's aspirant even. You check the map, but here we are in the middle of nowhere. I believe we are almost there. You said that an hour ago. Look at our fuel. I haven't seen a gas station for hours. By the way, nothing and no one except for the hobo. Well, this is not the place where we are supposed to be, right? <laughs> Must have been abandoned 20 years ago or more. Look at this. 
Dora, please, not now. Pretty nasty. Nasty, but it's getting dark and we won't know where to sleep. I can recognize the building. I wrote down the name of the place and the motel too. Just stop freaking out. All right. in a theater. <sighs> Amazing. <coughs> Pretty freaky. <sighs> the middle of the forest. Hello, Adam. Hey. <laughs> we should get back to the car, you know. Uh huh. I saw it. Nobody's here. Let's come down. There. Really fucking grainy. They're on the right. You see? What the fuck? Maybe it was a bomb. Yeah, it has to be a bomb. You just wouldn't believe it was full of garbage, the rooms and the corridors. It has to be a hobo paradise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should already be there. I was waiting for you to sign up. Fucking fantastic. Okay, I check it.
so sorry. I'll figure this out somehow. I saw a road to the right, but we took a left. Maybe we should have turned the other way. Yeah, maybe. But let's not go back there today, okay? Why? I just turn around and look for the byway, that's all. Yeah, but I recognize that we barely have a quarter tank of gas. Mm. So if we just miss a turn, then we'll be stranded in the middle of the road. Yeah, maybe someone would come that way. How many cars have you seen lately? Holy shit, that's a whole stockpile. Mm, God huh? bless her. Uh, here it is. Oh, okay. thank you. Anything to eat? Some food. Oh, 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 oh. God bless her. Uh, yeah, eat a little bit. The, f <laughs> the first thing will be when we get back to give her a big hug. Okay. So, bottles of water and this flashlight. It's so can we use it? Yeah, I guess. It's not so strong, but it will be fine. It will be fine. Yeah. Would you mind? Now just do it. Light in the darkness. I'm pretty sure you must have regretted coming with me by now. <laughs> We think that a lot of things as we head on forward. What do you mean? My mother wasn't sick. When I turned 19, I got some money together. And I bought my first car. An old wreck, you know, but I worked for it and paid for it myself, without anyone's help. <laughs> My dying girlfriend's name was Jenny. <laughs> she had a beautiful red hair, sparkling eyes. And Most beautiful smile in the world. Adam. You know, I wanted to take her and my mother for a drive to, to show them the car. I'm so sorry. It was raining that day. And there was that impossible curve leading into the town we lived in. Because it flipped around, it took the ambulance two hours to carve my mother out of the car. Janice had hit the window. She, she died instantly. Ah, oh, yeah. Mom died in the helicopter. And I was discharged from the hospital three days later. Three days. I'm so sorry. One day I had nothing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I. First I had everything and then. Nothing. That's not true. I haven't even looked at the photo album since it happened. 
can't bring myself to. You know. And you know what? I feel ashamed of that. You should talk to your mother. You can't know what my situation is like. I truly can't. That's true. You're right. But I would give anything. Anything. To tell them how much I, I love them. I just couldn't tell that to my mother. She's trying. Even if it is a box of shitty chocolate or, or a bunch of flour. She's trying to fix what she must do. She's trying to fix it. I don't get a second chance, but you do. So take it. Because I would be personally offended if you didn't take it. We always fighting ourselves and others. We try desperately to achieve things we might not even want to achieve. We keep ignoring so many things or allow them to pass us by. And we don't realize what's really important. Others. We don't even want to. Where are you going? I think I could use some for sure. Adam! Adam! Just wake up, Adam! What? What? I heard what? something. I heard something. It was like... It was like people shouting. From, from where? Which way? In a forest, from behind the car. Where? Probably just some kids, but they might know the way out of here. No, I don't think they that's just, a good idea. On, just on. stay in the car. Just stay in the fucking car. They can help us. Come on. Shit. What exactly did you hear? I'm telling you, it was like people shouting. Are you sure that's what you heard? Come on. Did you hear that? What? What did you hear? What did uh, you hear? Shh! Shut the fuck up! What? What did you hear? Turn off the flashlight. <sighs> what the fuck? Shit! Shh. <sighs> fuck. That's it? That's it, motherfucker! What stop? What stop? Just stop that, okay? Calm down. Where are you going? Just back to the car. Wait. I'm not staying Wait. here another minute. I'm not staying here another fucking minute. Shit. Hey. Where's the car? It has to be somewhere there. It has to be, but it is not here. So where the fuck is our car? Check that way. Yeah. That way I will check it. Yes. Okay. No car. No car. No car. Fuck. Found anything? Found anything? No! Answer me if I ask you. Adam, here, come on. 
What? This is the tent. And what? Shag we found in the trunk. What? No way. The tent? Yes, yes. And the bag? Yes. <laughs> that's a... That's a... Calm fucking down. Go. Just don't tell me yes. what to do! Calm down, please. Just relax, okay? Listen to me. Everything's going to be all right. Just come here. Just help me with this, okay? Yeah. Just keep going. We have to leave this place. Please help me, Adam. Are you? Fuck you. Just fuck you. Damn it! Watch your step. Watch your step. Mm. Huh? A double cheeseburger and the coke. That's what I go for once, once we're out of here. And you? Fries with mayo. Fries with mayo? Seriously. What's wrong with that? No pizzas with extra toppings, stuff like that. No. But I think I could eat fries till I burst. <laughs> Believe me. I'm cold. Maybe we think? should set up camp and continue no. tomorrow. Oh, no, we should find a car. How did we not hear? I won't take it. Oh, shit. I don't know. Maybe we just took the wrong trail or something. We just ended up somewhere else. Or not. Huh? I really don't know. Hey, if you give us some flashlight, I do something here. Do you have any other idea? Okay, let's do it. How can I help you? Enough room? Sure. You can come a bit closer if you'd like. I'm okay. We should wake up early in the morning. Everything will be alright, okay? Right. Station's going to kill me. More cameras within the car. We'll report it. Just let's get out of here somehow. <sighs> Careful, don't drink too much. Even a damn stream anywhere. Be careful. Yeah, thanks. The hell is that? It's like an old cemetery. Let me see. Oh shit. 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 Wow. Freshly dug. A few days old.
It's like sawdust. Bad. No, it's over here. Bad thing. Wait, wait. Nothing. Mm. What what is that? Is that blood or what? Yeah, there, 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 there. Oh, did I stop? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. <sighs> Tora, no, you, you need to pull yourself together. We need to go! I just need a second, okay? Just a second. Come on. Come on. What? If you put that away, you'd have more energy and you could follow me faster. <laughs> I don't give a shit. We've been wandering around for almost a day and a half now. Is that much of a problem that I want to record whatever did that by the tree? Yeah, you could probably record a bear or something. That leaves flaky dust behind? Bear just left the department store, right? Hoped in to get a neat little dresser. And uh, had time to bury about 30 people in the forest. No, 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 no. You don't get to tell me what to do. Besides, you're going to the wrong way. The trail goes to the right. We have to go this way. There's just more fucking trees in front. At least we could go around this whole goddamn jungle. Okay, 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 okay. Just a minute. What are you doing? Just a minute. Oh, Adam. Here it is. Up to you, my lady. You're not helping, you know. No, no, no. no what? No. Oh, oh, what? No, God, no. Oh. Just a little bit too, right? We'd be hitting more trees, right? Fuck you! But I just wanted to help. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That whole shit was your idea, not mine. I didn't ask you to come with me. No, you truly really didn't. But you fucked this up. Where are you going? I'm not about to spend a night next to a cemetery, if you don't mind. Wait for me. Tomorrow will go when I say, okay? Sure. Understood. Yeah, I understood. I'm so sorry. Try to get some sleep.
Thank you. Just stay here in the tent. Be careful. I found. Shit. Oh my god, maybe she's alive. Oh <coughs> Adam. <coughs> Adam. We have, to keep, we have to keep going. Check her pockets there. Check her pockets. Flashlight out. The car. Oh my god, the car. Get in. Okay. Lisa, let's run. Come on, let's go. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Get off the trail though, it might be accurate. <laughs> Look, it's a house. House? Yeah. <sighs> go, just go. Not the door.
Send us your way. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. the plan. Who's script. Oh, I'm going to do it like the plan. Oh. Go from bed to his face, but then the bed you don't have to catch up in the movie. Get an ambulance right now! But call the fucking emergency now, you're the only one who speaks Hungarian. Okay, what did I say then? What did I say then? He jumped me to the night. He put it somewhere in this room. He put it under the pillow. Perhaps on its way. What? I saw it. <coughs> I saw Just it. don't talk. Just, just don't talk. 
Adam, just don't talk again. Please don't die. I will it. to be really damn precise for this. That's what I'm saying. We have to react to everything right away. Anything can happen. I just don't know why we can't tell the guy too. He seems smart enough. Yeah, but that's how it will be the most authentic. Just trust me on this. I checked the guy. He's a mystery knot. Not to mention that his mother and girlfriend died in a car crash while he was driving. Damn, that's pretty rough. Can you really put this stuff on me? I can put it on you in the car, if that's what you would like. <laughs> Just have to walk carefully. What about the prosthetic hand? <clears throat> it's live on Friday. The makeup girl posted it yesterday. Good. Will the car be there? Yes. I know a few people who can help us out. And what about the homeless guy? Head of an acting group. He said he would be very much up for playing in a good movie. You having been an exchange student is a godsend. Well, I know the area well enough to throw you a map. Holy shit, that's terrifying. Wow, it's even better than in the pictures. It costs an arm and a leg too. And I just finished mixing the sound for it as well. How many speakers did you order? Fifteen. That should be enough. And I always have an extra just for sure. Don't worry, I handle it. I've always been good with this stuff. So yeah, the motor. Don't forget to scare him there if he goes back to the room. <laughs> yeah, that would make a good scene. Yeah. Okay, so then the old outpost. Is there anyone around there? No, just hobos. One of my friends said that those houses haven't been used in more than 10 years. Soldiers and their families used to live there. That's a character. Sure it does. We will push the car about 200 meters away. You have to be the one to go that way. You can't let him go that way, otherwise he'll find it. Okay, but just don't forget that you will have to drain the gas. Leave that to us. Um, want anyone to string the crosses? We will pull them out the night before, don't worry. You have to be really clever once you're in the house. And you better hold your breath by playing dead. I'll be the deadest dead person ever. Okay, okay. okay everybody, if just it all works out, we will have a decent movie on our hands, just for sure. <laughs> well, festivals might still not give a shit about us, but at least we could make some money out of this, and the industry will notice us soon. And Whenever you can, keep it rolling and let him have the camera sometimes as well. After all, you are the main character. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Can barely smell it all. I mixed it up with some dust. <laughs> Has many sent the money yet? Sure, we have the money. Tora, are you sure you want him to help us? Why not? You know the saying, there's no use crying over spilled milk. <laughs> okay, we can go. No! No, please help! No! No, please! No! 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 Yay! <laughs> the dead actress. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> That's a great opening scene. Yeah, you were right. Have you mixed the neck snap and the sound of the mouth too? I think it'll be more than enough. Thank you. We are always fighting ourselves and others. We try desperately to achieve the things we might not even want anymore. We keep ignoring so many things or allow them to pass us by. 
and we don't realize what's really important. Or worse, we don't even want to. I saw it.